Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today I have another little dev update for you. We are closing in on release of the next update and are currently working on the last final touches and bug fixing and stuff. It's going pretty well, I must say, and we are going to take a look at these things. So what I want to do is uh, to build a new platform and then build three different models based on that platform. It will be a um, kind of slightly American SUV minivan stylish thing because reasons. Okay, let's start. So uh, uh, I might be clipping a bit in here and stuff to get you there faster. So yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, this is already looking better for a mini SUV kind of van-ish thing. Yeah, more space there. And getting those in. Big people need to fit in there. Huge doors, kids in the back. Enough room for shopping. Yeah, still enough room for shopping. Okay, this does indeed look like a kind of S mini SUV-ish car. A micro SUV probably for American standards. Uh, so let's put some fixtures on there. And um, the chrome one. Oh yes. Oh yes. I can see the eyes glowing in the dark. Uh, <laughs> no, we are not building super meat boy cars. Rotate them a little. Like this. Much larger. Well, we already have a cooling capability of 300 kilowatts. We are not going to put that much power into the car. Uh, I've already prepared the engines, uh, which I will be showing off when we put them in. Yep, that's, that's perfect. Um, and more lights. We need more lights. The shiny lights. Let's put them in there. Yay, awesome. Okay, now, now the back of the car. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, that's kind of mutilated enough for now, I would say. So, there we are. Uh, we have our van sitting there. And it doesn't seem to have updated the picture, which is unfortunate. Uh, but we are going to build a uh, revised, uh, a new model on top of this. And there we have it. It's still there, it didn't disappear. And now I have several different engines. Well, it's a front-wheel drive because it's a cheap micro SUV, SUV and it's shit, so it's a front-wheel drive. So, I have three different awesome engines. Uh, the Eco variant, which we will be placing in there right now. A 1.5 liter single overhead cam, um, 16 valves in total, so four per cylinder. It's very lightweight lasts long and has absolutely zero power. Okay, five gears and uh, for this one ah, it's it's kind of this city car nonsense SUV thing, right? Um, so we go with a non-sporty gear spacing uh, top speed of, uh, let's say it won't be fast, so let's say 172 standard diff and now we put some tires on this thing and shitty tires should suffice. And let's see what this looks like. Yes, yes, yes. Um, maybe it's slightly larger. It doesn't look as shabby. Yeah, yeah, let's have those tires. Should be fine. And oh, this performance, it's astounding. It has a 0 to 100 time of 14.1 seconds. It truly is an eco box. Eco shit box. And it shall be called the Fantastic E for Eco. Okay, so now we have a model there, and we are just going to continue. So we go back to the drivetrain, choose the other engine, select the standard engine for this series, and it's blue, which makes it much better than the green one. It's still the same setup, but you can see the new estimate top speed is slightly higher. We have a bit more power. Instead of 62 kilowatts, we have like 90... Ah, oh, it's 92. Yeah, so 30 kilowatts more. Awesome! It's still very little, but um, it should go a bit better. 
and gear spacing we leave the same and tires we can leave the same it's still the standard edition and it's still shit so yeah it is but it helped the acceleration quite a bit 10.5 seconds instead of 14.1 and let's check the awesome awesome acceleration okay in first gear we actually could get potential wheel spin while in the higher gears it's it's impossible you can you can put the throttle down as much as you want it won't nothing will happen apart from a uh, slight breeze of acceleration the acceleration is just a bit too slow this is not the fantastic e but the fantastic um, fantastic boring edition that is the latest trick of the marketing department they for once tell the truth so that the people feel like oh they they, they must be lying just as usual and then they will buy it and then they will find out shit it really was boring so we save this and now we don't close it but we make our last model in the series so we choose the engine and now we get started 2.2 liter the red edition and it's a turbocharged version and has 220 kilowatts instead and it does cost a little more and does rev higher and is generally not suited for a micro SUV kind of thing okay let's put it in and you can see this beautiful horrible power curve it really is turbo mutilated so we uh, mm, four wheel drive no, 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 this is still a fantastic car, so we have to have to be front-wheel drive here. Uh, we have this nice, powerful engine, 220 kilowatts. Uh, single clutch still, yes, yes. No, no, we go, we go for the sporty edition. That's the sporty edition. It has double clutch setup, and um, it is much faster as well. And it needs sporty gearing, like sporty as in not a Jeep. Um, all right, so let's go with this, and it needs bigger tires. Yes, yes, yes. Still fit under there? Yep, it does. And let's go. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, that's that's slightly faster. Six seconds from zero to one hundred, and that's definitely not fantastic, boring anymore. But let's see. Okay, the tires are quite optimal. Only wheel spin really in first gear. Second is very close to spinning, but still fine. Uh, weight transfer also good. Um, and yeah, speed acceleration, power, the power. Yeah, you can see the turbo haul first here, and then it really skyrockets there, it goes up. And looking good in general. So seems decent enough. And this is the fantastic port so it's s we save it and now we go back to the um, this menu uh the car manager and now you see that um, you have the different versions down here and uh, you see what engine you have in there and uh, at some time there will be more stats shown there of course but not now not yet should be good fun, and um, as I mentioned, we are aiming for early next uh, week release. So be prepped for that, and we'll try our best to get it out and uh, fix the last few bugs and polish up a few things. All right, guys, that's it, and hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye.